guys. It's over. It's over. I'm feeling, yo, I'm, yo. Before we talk about everything, I have to, can I just tell you what I'm feeling right now? Can I just tell you guys my emotions? The Warriors lost. Like, it's actually over. Them winning every year, I think it's over for good. Like, I don't think they'll ever do what they did. I think it's done. So that makes me really happy, but I don't know. This is this is not what the Warriors losing in the finals is supposed to feel like. Like I'm not as happy as I should be. Like I should be, I should be coming in here more happy, more excited that the Warriors lost. And that, that, that. But I'm not feeling that. Like I'm not feeling that. I don't know why. No, I know why. It's because the goddamn Raptors beat them. Supposed to be. LeBron, bro. Damn it. Damn it. It was supposed to be LeBron that ended that. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get the video started. We got multiple videos. I got a lot I have to say. I just wanted to first start this off with my emotions. I'm not as happy as I should be right now. I should be more happy that the Warriors lost and that they're going to continue to keep losing in the future and we'll talk about why but I'm not I'm not I'm not ah. Kyle Lowry got a ring he has a ring fuck hold on hold on hold on <laughs> James Harden, Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, Russell Westbrook, Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson. what I'm saying? Allen Iverson. Kyle Lowry. Allen Iverson. Kyle Lowry. Like, I'm really not trying to pause this video because it's 18 minutes, but I've really got to get this. If I don't get any other point across in this video, I have to get this one. This is, this is why, that's, I think that's why I'm not as happy as I should be. Because Allen Iverson doesn't have a ring. Because Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, yeah, they don't have rings. They never gave Allen Iver... <sighs> okay, let's just, let's hop back into it. Let's hop back into it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't pause it anymore. I'll try my best not to pause it anymore. I'll try my best not to pause it anymore. I'm trying my best not to vote anymore. Can I sink this up? Okay. Oh, yeah, and then he came out and he scored the first 11 points. How the fuck did he do that? I got to stop cursing. I'm making too, I'm making this too many words to bleep out. Because <laughs> I can't get a yellow mark. How the F did he do that? How did he do that? How did he do that? How did he come out and score the first 11 points? Look at that Hezzo. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I, I mean, I seen it yesterday, but just seeing him has old Paul Curry again is just. <laughs> All right. Yo, when I was okay, what should what should we talk about first? Here? Um, Jeremy Lin's a champion. That's nuts. Fred Van Vliet. I'm actually not that mad that he got one. His grind. Fred Van Vliet's grind to get that to get that ring is crazy. So I'm not even mad that he had one, actually. Jeremy Lee kind of pissed me off. Kyle Lowry definitely pissed me off. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really happy that any of them got one, really. 
Other than, I, I'm kind of happy Greg got one. Marcus All got a ring too. Damn. Get his little weekend. He didn't do nothing either. <laughs> he did a whole lot of nothing. Word, word, word. Got him one though. Got him one. Vasco Siakam got one. Well, let's talk about Leonard. Let's talk about Leonard first. Has anyone ever won it? Okay, has anyone ever been in a situation like Leonard? Been on a team for one year, won a championship with that team, and then left the squad the year after? I think the fact that, and as much as I hate to admit it, I really hope that I'm wrong. I pray to God that I'm wrong about this. But I feel like the fact that he won a championship is going to make him leaving Toronto. Like, how who, how do you win it and then still leave the squad? Like, I don't think that he... At the end of the day, I think he wants to win more than he wants to live in California and win. So I think that he will stay on the Raptors. I think he will. He won it. Like, he can't leave. He won. If they would have lost, that's another reason I kind of wanted him to. Oh. Yeah, he's not leaving. He's not leaving, guys. He's not leaving. He's staying on that squad. And, 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 and that means that the Raptors are going to be good forever. The Raptors are going to be good until Kawhi Leonard leaves. That's a realization that I don't know if a lot of people have realized yet, but I'm like, I realize it. If Kawhi Leonard stays, the Raptors are going to be good forever. And Kyle Lowry might get more rings. Kyle Lowry, that ass, might get another ring, which is nuts. Which Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the fact that Kyle Lowry could actually get another fucking ring? That's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy to think about. But it could happen if Leonard stays. It will happen. If Leonard stays forever, he's going to win at least one more time in Toronto. He'll win at least one more time. He'll get... Whoa! That's nuts! I don't even want to... I'm thinking of scenarios that I haven't even... All right, let's get off of that. That's enough talking about that for this video. Um, I'm not going to lie. When this game first started, like, I went to the mall and I seen a few people at the mall and everyone asked me, like, yo, who do you want to win? Obviously, right? Who do you think is going to win tonight? I'm like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I wanted the Warriors to win tonight. I wanted them to win, and then I wanted the Raptors to win game seven. I wanted it to go seven games. I wanted the Raptors to win. I didn't want the Warriors to win. But I wanted I wanted it to go seven games. And then, like, as I'm sitting here watching the game, by halftime, I was like, yeah, nah, forget that. I don't want the Warriors to win at all. I want the Raptors to win. Forget forget that. I don't want to see that. I don't want it. It just, it just felt too close. I didn't like how I was feeling. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that they would still in the game with no KD. I'm like, they could really win this all. Like, yeah, nah. And then they'll pull a 3-1 comeback like LeBron. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, nah. Let's just, let's just end this. Let's just end this right now. Let's just end this right now. So I'm glad that, I'm glad that the Raptors just ended this. Because by halftime, that was the vibe that I was on. I wasn't, I don't know if I was on that vibe right here in the game, but by like half, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm off it. I'm off it. I'm off it. Let's just, let's just end this. Let's just end it. Let's just end it. Um... Using a loony screen, scoops okay, first let's talk about Let's talk about Man, I'm going to have to pause it one more time, guys I'm going to have to pause this video one more time Because we have to talk about Why the Warriors Dynasty And I don't want to I have to pause it I have to pause it one more time Last time I don't want to call what the Warriors did a dynasty Because I feel like that's giving them way too much credit It wasn't, it wasn't a dynasty It wasn't a dynasty They had an overpowered team they had a they had the most overpowered team of all time. I'm not gonna call it a dynasty. Don't call it a dynasty. That's like giving them way too much. Like they don't deserve that respect for cheesing trophies with Kevin Durant. Patrick McCaw is a three peter, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, just stay focused. Um, but it's over. Whatever you want to call what the Warriors did the last five years, it's over. It's over now. Let me tell you why it's over. And and this is and this is facts. This is not an opinion. This is facts. Kevin Durant tore his Achilles trying to come out here and be Superman. Although he came out here and he did do Superman, and I would have did the same thing if he was him. Any real nigga would have did what he did. So I respect that. I salute that. Because he knew he was injured. He knew he was seventy percent. The war, like I said in the last video, the Warriors looked him in his eye and they said, "What do you want to do? And if you're a goat, you got to go out there." So I respect that. Anyways, he's gone. I thought he was going to come back like halfway through the series. I mean, through, through the year. Listening to the game, the announcer said he's out for the whole year. I didn't even realize that. So Durant is out for his whole, Durant is out for the whole year. 
right? He's got a one year like uh, e- uh extension option, whatever. He's gonna use that. He's gonna stay on the Warriors for that one year because he won't be playing. He's gonna opt into that one year. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of next year, he'll get a new contract. So he's out, right? So even when Durant comes back, he'll probably come back and be a beast. But it's gonna take him. It's gonna take a while. So that means all next year, no Durant. That means LeBron is finna dominate. Then Clay Thompson about to go down right now. He tore his ACL. He could maybe come back for the playoffs or at the after the All Star break, like maybe. But they'll most likely sit him out the whole year too. That means next year we're about to watch Steph Curry do it all by himself all year long. This is why I had to pause the video because we really have to, we're about to watch Steph Curry try and do it by himself. Oh boy, do you know how much fun I'm about to have? We're about to get Anthony Davis. You see the way they're talking online? So let's let's put this all into perspective. The Lakers are about to come in the next year with Anthony Davis and LeBron on the same team. Curry's about to be playing by his goddamn self. Boy, how the goddamn... Gods have shifted in this mother. Boy, do you see? Do you, do you, boy, do you understand? So not only are they both out for the whole year, we don't even know how good either one of them is going to be when they come back. I hope they're both as good as they were before they went down, but we don't know. So it's over. So that means that the Warriors are going to be out of it for a year. For sure they're not winning next year. For sure they're not winning next year. No way. And then they'll probably be out of it the year after that. Durant might leave. Who knows? I think it's over. I think whatever you want to call what the Warriors were doing before, it's over. They got a few rings. They got three rings. Durant got two. They cheated and did that. And now it's over. And now the basketball guys have aligned. And they said, okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's quite enough out of y'all. <laughs> that's, that's what... So... We'll see what happens in the future, man. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm sorry for writing my ass off, but I had to do that. We had to, I, I couldn't I couldn't play the video and do that. Like we had to Green you know to five, perimeter guys and making plays. Green and Iguodala okay. connect once again. Very good chemistry. Yeah. Green, a terrific decision maker off the dribble. We're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be very interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna watch Curry and Draymond all year. <laughs> They better try and they better better try and keep Cousins or something. I already seen Cousins say he want to stay on the team. Yeah, I bet you do. Let's talk about Cousins for a second. <laughs> Let's talk about Cousins. For <laughs> Come on, everybody, do it with me. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Cousins thought, he was, Cousins thought he was really finna get a ring. Y'all remember, d- please tell me y'all remember how crazy Cousins was talking when he joined the team. He was talking about, oh, everybody hate us. Everybody hate us. Hate this, hate that. He was dropping all those photos, those videos. He was encouraging people to hate on him because he knew that they were going to be in the finals again. You remember how confident that he was that he was finna ride the coattails and get him a ring? You remember how disgusting that was? <laughs> you get no ring, sir. <laughs> Basketball God said, cut it out. <laughs> you need to cut it. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> hey, cut that shit out, boy. You don't get a ring, kid. You thought you got a ring? No. Patrick McCall somehow gets a three-peat. <laughs> he somehow got the same amount of rings as Curry and LeBron, but... Yeah, no, Cousins, you don't get one. And you won't get one next year, neither. You won't get one next year, neither. And then pretty soon they'll be dead. They would have got rid of you. So you're not getting the ring, bud. <laughs> you talk, you spoke way too soon. <laughs> you spoke way too soon. <laughs> you jinxed yourself a couple times. You jinxed, you owe me a soda, goddammit. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Hell no, that's funny. Fun day. That's funny. Cousins not getting a ring is one of the was one of the best moments about this. I think I'm more happy that he didn't get a ring than anybody else, honestly. <laughs> like I'm so happy he didn't get a ring. <laughs> That's funny. 
I hope his team isn't watching this video. If they are, this is just jokes. Demarcus Cousins' team. I actually love Demarcus Cousins. He's a great uh, member of society, great citizen. I love the charity work and the stuff that he does for his community with his, um, with his annual uh, Christmas dinners and shit. Yeah, I know he does like a little, yeah, I, yeah Cousins is a great guy. Don't be my ass. <laughs> Please don't be nice. And that was that was clean, by the way, on Curry. That was clean. That was very clean. That was a clean steal. And I don't even like Curry at all. F Curry. But that was a clean steal. <laughs> I could, yo, you could tell, like, yo, when the refs are trying to, okay, when the refs call this many fouls, the game plan is to keep the games close. They were, because sometimes there'll be, sometimes there's NBA Finals games where they call nothing. And then there's some NBA Finals games when they call everything. And that's when you know when they're trying to like... By the way, I think Curry's mom might look better than his... Never mind. Anyways, um, that's when you know they're trying to call, keep the game close. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. She just like took my breath away. <laughs> that's, when you know that you, that's when you know they're trying to call the game close. When they call all these... These, these 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 jump shooting fouls and you know what I mean like yeah it's not them I, I, yeah yeah that's that's what I think they just were like okay we want to close the game that was the game plan the refs made before this started like yep yeah, we're gonna call this one close oh by the way when when Curry and and, and uh, Durant went down LeBron the Lakers already became the favorites to win the finals next year and we don't even have AB yet and the odds makers already have us as the favorites to win it all so suck on that it's gonna be a lit year I don't know about y'all but I can't wait <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot of LeBron W's I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a great time we're gonna have a swell time <laughs> Let me knock on wood because I'm not trying to jinx him like the cousins did. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hold anybody to show this. Anyways. Did I get everything out that I wanted to say mainly? Did I get the main thoughts out? Curry steps back, two pointer floats it up and Steph Curry with 17. Yeah, I think I pretty much I said the main stuff I want to say. I don't know. We got more videos. This is the only video I'm watching. So. Hey, guys. What's up? Okay, so there's one thing I forgot to bring up in this video, and then I kind of low-key forgot to bring it up in the other one, too. Well, the other video kind of fucked up, so I don't even know if I'm going to upload. Anyways, um, Curry, he did nothing, guys. Um, he went, what did he, what did he go in the last quarter? Um, he went one for four from three, one for six from the field. Um, he's 0 for 8. Um, on game winners in the last 20 seconds, like everybody loves to talk about how unclutched LeBron is, but but Curry is is is, is the most unclutched person by the numbers that we've that we've ever seen, and he did nothing, and the media is not talking about it. The media is sweeping Curry's horrible performance under the rug. Um, and if LeBron would have had a fourth quarter performance where he closes out one for six and misses the game winner, they would be ripping him a new ass all summer calling him the most unclutched, you know what I mean? So I just don't like how the media is not getting on Curry right now. So I'm going to take this platform that I got in these few hundred K people that are going to watch this. And I'm going to remind y'all that Curry did nothing and that he's not clutch. And that needs to be remembered. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. <laughs> but I think it's something else. I'll, I'll say it. But that's, 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 that's the majority of the stuff that I wanted to attack. Damn, Clay was Clay was going crazy. That man had 30 points before the fourth even started. Like, if he would have just laid this up, he wouldn't have got hurt. Ow! If he would have just laid that up, he wouldn't have got hurt like that. Stephen A. made that point. That's a good point. But in the heat of the moment, like he, he was trying to, yeah, like I feel that. That's why he got 30 points because that's the way he was playing. He was playing aggressive. So I'm not mad at him doing that. Some of the players saying something. Danny Green saying, "I'm just trying to block the play." And, they, and, he, and he walked out, he walked out of the tunnel, for those of you who didn't see, he was walking in the back and they told him, yo, if you don't shoot these free throws, you won't be able to come back in the game. As soon as they said that, bro turned around, came right back out, tried to keep playing. Whole time he tore his, OC, wow. tore his ACL and was tried to finish out the quarter. Ow. Ow. Tried to finish out the quarter too, that's what's crazy. Clay Thompson is a savage. I don't think he gets enough credit. Like, I think he plays with more injuries than anyone else on the squad. Like, he be, he be out there really trooping through. Some, I, yeah, 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 yeah. 
They better give him a max. They better give him a max. They better give him a max deal. That nigga's out there playing with a torn ACL. <laughs> And that is, that's not a magic, I don't know. Yeah, nah, it was nothing dirty about that. You guys did. Come on, get y'all soft ass. 2019 is so soft, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody's so soft in 2019. I gotta apologize for talking trash about cousins in his videos. Everybody's so goddamn soft. They thought that was a foul on Green. Everybody, like, relax. Everybody just calm down. <laughs> Kyle Lowry is so good at basketball, man. I can't even talk trash about Kyle Lowry. Either. I didn't even talk trash about him earlier. I just said a few names. I said a few names and I said his name, but I haven't. I haven't really talked trash. If anything, I, I I gave him. I congratulate him for that crazy step back he had. Good steal, Kyle Lowry. Yeah, I'm not talking. Today, I won't. I won't talk crazy about Kyle Lowry today. I can't promise that I won't. No, actually, I can promise you that I'll talk crazy about Kyle Lowry again. But for today, I'm gonna give him his credit. Even on Twitter, I changed my photo to Kyle Lowry kissing it. Like today is your day. Today is your day, bud. Today is your day. You know what I mean? It's all about you today. I might even give away some Kyle Lowry jerseys. Like I was thinking about doing that. Like on Instagram or Twitter, or something, giving away like 10, 20 Kyle Lowry jerseys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was really thinking about doing that. I swear, I've had that thought a few times. Yeah, he's out here. Walking with prayers for Clay Thompson, prayers for Kevin Durant, you know what I'm and by that I mean that they come back in there as good as they were before they come back. Because I'm not, because I would never, like, as excited as I am that LeBron doesn't have to play them next year, I would never wish them to like not come back from their injuries better than ever. Like, yeah, nah, I don't want to see them. Yeah, nah, I hope that they come back from their injuries better than ever. Yeah, both of them, both of them. But while they're going, LeBron, let's have some fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I got for y'all. And, and that's just real. Like, I'm not even, like, trying to be, yeah, I'm just, that's just real. That's just real. That's just real. This is real life. This is real emotion. That's just, it's, I just keep it a buck. They know me. I like to keep it a buck. Warriors are really trying to win this. I, I didn't like it. And I really didn't like it. I really didn't like this. Every, now, nowadays, 2019, you, you get tapped on the arm, everybody falls down, like, <laughs> Curry does that, Harden does that, it's just disgusting, it's like you get tapped on the arm, now you gotta fall down to the ground to get the foul, like, you guys are disgusting, <laughs> but Fred, this, today's your day, I'm not mad at you, but I'm just saying, like, that, that whole, like, thing is disgusting to me, but Fred, today's your day, but, yeah, today's your day, but, it's all about you today, Fred. <laughs> Van Vliet pulls back, puts it up. Drake and Toronto, hypersale. I wonder what time Drake went to bed last night. I wonder what Drake did last night. He probably went to a club or something. Like, Drake need to follow me back on Instagram, man. I hate not being able to comment on this shit. That's just mad annoying. <laughs> Y'all feel me, though? Not being able to drop a comment and just having, being, having to look at the comments. This is annoying. I hate that. I hate when niggas do that shit. I would never do that to y'all. <laughs> I would never do that. No matter how big I got, I never do that. I hate that. Not doing your comments or something shit. Although, when you can comment and other people can't, it's actually kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause I can do, cause Durant has that same shit and I can do it on his. And I always bang hella likes and it's fire. <laughs> but I hate when it's vice versa though. When you can't do it, then it's like fuck. <laughs> but when you can, it's you feel exclusive. <laughs> You feel, like, you feel part of the exclusive group, so I get it, but still, I don't like it. <laughs> Big shot, Siakam. Big shot, boy. Big shot. Huge shot. Huge shot. Curry gets inside, falls down, and a trip call. You see there, four for four tonight. And Curry not missing this. Two clutch free throws there. Bro, I was freaking out. I was freaking out when this happened. I might even show y'all my live reaction to this. 
Here comes the double team. Leonard still in the backcourt. Throws it ahead to Green. Oh, they Green's even have a timeout. That was such a horrible pass. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Siakam is like 20 feet tall. And you missed him by that much? Then Iguodala throws a crazy pass. Curry gets a wide open look. Let's not forget that. Let's never forget. Let's never forget the fact that the Warriors dynasty came to an end on an open look from Curry. Let's watch that crazy pass from Iguodala. Almost went out of bounds. He's wild for that. Curry wide open look. That was the game winner. That was the game winner, and he could knock it down. The three point guy, the three point lord. Three point king, so three point fight. savage, three point Maybe assassin, baby face assassin, so best three point shooter ever. Goal. He's like, Yeah, I know, yeah, 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 yeah. Even yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Basketball God said, No, sir. Basketball God said, No, sir. <laughs> Basketball God said, No, sir. Throws it into Leonard. That's it. It's over. The Raptors win. Basketball guys called. Said no, sir. And then they did this for whatever reason. This is ridiculous. This is doing, this is doing a lot. Good job, Leonard. Big hand pass. Go ahead, Nike. Same thing now. That's it. That's it. There's a new NBA champion, and Let's it's a team it. from Toronto, Canada. Let's get it. Yeah, I don't know how happy I am that the, the Raptors, Raptors won, but I'm very happy that the Warriors lost. <laughs> Kawhi caught himself celebrating, then stopped celebrating. <laughs> Kyle Lowry was had the game high. <laughs> I mean, team high. Kyle Lowry had the team high, 26 points. 22 at half. He should have went for 30. That would have been... <laughs> That would have been crazy. Kyle Lowry, man. Kyle Lowry. Wow. <laughs> Kyle Lowry heard y'all. He heard us. He heard people on Twitter. He heard everybody talking crazy. He was like, all right, I'm going to come out and get the first 12 for y'all. <laughs> I'm going to come out and show y'all what's good. <laughs> Hell no. Kyle Lowry, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say too much more. Like I said, we have other videos to watch. Um, this video is, I've ranted long enough in this. I've paused this video in, and had multiple, you know what I mean? So we don't need to rant here at the end. Um, that's going to do it for this year. The Toronto Raptors are champions. All of the diehard Toronto Raptors fans, all of you guys that are like, yo, this is the year. I think this is going to be the year. And you literally say that to me every single year. Because there's a lot of you guys, the real diehards that really think that they were going to win every year. Congrats to y'all, man. Y'all really deserve this. Because y'all be, I'm telling you, there's so many diehard brothers, people that I know in real life, like friends of mine or fans like you guys. There's so many of you guys that are like, every single year, you're like, yo, this is the year. We're going to do it this year. This is the year. And you never did it. And it was always so funny to make fun of y'all. But y'all finally did it. It was really this year. Y'all weren't lying. It was really this year. Y'all did it. Wow. So, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all for real. Um, cause the Toronto Raptors fan base is not huge. So the ones that are really like riding, shout out to y'all. Um, and yeah, that's really all I'm going to say. The Warriors have lost. The dyna the, whatever you want to call that is over. Whatever you want to name that. We need a new name for that. It's over. I might do, what should I do? Should I do like a giveaway or, I don't know. I want to do something. Cause the season's over. Lowry's a champ. My clothing brand is getting ready to come out in like a few weeks. So I kind of want to do something. To, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But that's going to do it. Leave a like you enjoyed. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. We're going up on both. I've been dropping banger tweets. You know what I'm saying? Banger fucking Instagram. Like, I don't know how some of y'all don't follow me on. Like, you should. Anyways, I'm out of here. Let's go watch the goddamn celebrations and interviews and shit. <laughs> 29 minutes. Jeez.